Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Render Drawing Channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw a Stegosaurus but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay to draw a Stegosaurus we need to draw. I'm going to give you these kind of I'm going to give you these little guidelines so draw a big circle and then draw another circle about there this is just to help you get the feel for it and another smaller circle about there. And what we're going to do is this is going to be the head which will extend there and then this will come up and around there and then that will just kind of go over there and then this is going to kind of go down there a little bit and swoop round that circle and then you want it to kind of go off there so this is going to be his head could be a hair i suppose um, and then from that circle bring a line down there forward and that's his front leg and then this will be his back leg that's the knee and that's kind of the feet there and then you can have another one like that then you're going to want to kind of put uh, these are quite much bigger on the back and then one two three four one two three four at the back there I think we can start inking in I'm just going to do the head first and just going to come around like that with a nice little smile and I'm going to give him something in his mouth because they're herbivores they eat grasses and things and I'll make that come down on the other side like that there we go and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to kind of in fact I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these lines pointing out like that and then you want these kind of Um, leaf shape kind of things aren't they? They're very stegosaurus -y kind of shapes like that to get it right. Okay so and we'll draw these in first before we draw the rest of the the body in. And these are slightly smaller and a slightly smaller one there and then we can join along in between them and then bring this down to where the, the leg will be. Okay, so that's where the bones are going to be. And you kind of want the legs to be like that. Okay, put a little kind of Y up at the top there as a kind of a fold. And then one, two, three, four. There's probably five, but <laughs> this is a cartoon. It's not, this is not a terribly accurate Stegosaurus, but it's probably good enough for homework <laughs> and you can maybe you can make it a bit crumbly the line along there as well probably and then you're going to go, on to go one two three and four and there's the tip of the tail like that and you're going to want to do one two three four inside and you're going to want to kind of echo these on the other side like that And this is kind of the grass that he's eating. I think we can have a kind of a mare's tail kind of plant here, which is going to be, there probably should be hundreds of these all around. When you are absolutely sure it's dry, rub out the pencil lines because you don't want it to smudge. And then flip lines up into these. Go put one up in the middle and then kind of slightly going angled to the sides like that. And these ones behind want to be really quite dark because they're kind of hiding behind there. And then some spots and some shading to so put some shading in the bottom underneath its belly like that and uh, in behind its legs there and things and oh uh, we've forgotten the back legs better put those in as well <laughs> and some more grass and then a load of shading underneath to make it look like it's standing on the ground and a little wiggle in the tail and there you go, a Stegosaurus. And if you didn't quite get that, go back and watch it again from the beginning. <laughs> Try drawing this or the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.